You want a great reason for a long distance hard shooting muzzleloader? 179 yards and imploded heart. Who says long distance isn't for muzzleloaders? I've said this so many times that I can't remember it. I grew up, I cut my teeth in the mountains of Southwest Virginia hunting with muzzleloaders and I still hunt with them today. This is a deer that really we wanted to kill and for all y'all to be with me this morning to help me find him, I mean, that made my season. I like put it right through the freaking bump sake. Did they? I did. Did you, mister? It needs to go about two inches. That's it. No, it's dead center. That, my friend, is what you come to Iowa for. That is a beautiful, beautiful four-year-old. Traditions, performance firearms, and the striker fire. Hey, there's nothing like it. We're going in. You're after your first buck. Yes. Are you excited? Yes. All right. All right. Who do we have with us? Papa. Papa. I was sitting on his lap when I killed my first deer. And you may be sitting right next to him when you kill your first one. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay, well, it's raining and it's nasty, isn't it? You're going to tough it out. Okay, let's get in a tree. We're late. The first deer ever, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that his muzzleloader laid him down, didn't it? Yep. I tell you, Cole, when he, when he stopped up there and then he fell over, that's when I was feeling good about it, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, man. He was like... <laughs> hey, he didn't go. He didn't go anywhere, did he? That was a perfect uh, shot, Cole. That was. It's... Where'd you aim? Right behind his shoulder, like we taught you? No, like right in his heart. Yeah. Yeah, right in his heart. Perfect. Oh man, buddy, look at that he's deer, Cole. Oh, Cole, he's a six. Look at him. One, he's two, a six. three, four, five, six. Yes, it's a six. <laughs> look at his tongue. Good job. I'm so proud of you. Thanks. First buck. This looks lost, dude. Right in front of us. You want him to get there? Matt? Ready? Yeah. Dropped him right there. We just shot a giant, buddy. I mean, a giant. Heck, he's done. Oh, Lord, what a deer. Yeah. That's a white tail right there, buddy. Look at that stuff. Incredible. Incredible. Whew. I almost couldn't believe it when I looked up. I go, that looks lost. Wow. It's the grand finale. I got the Traditions Vortec muzzleloader. Should be really good. I hope he crawls up. Is there a thing? There's nothing cocked. Yeah! Felt like you were dead on him. It's a big deer. He's dead. Oh, no, I'm so proud of you. What a great shot, too, Don. Good job. I think it might be that buck that Mark was talking about. to make the shot. Put it right behind the shoulder and just squeezed. Great Bob, good looking deer, four and a half year old deer.
That's a giant. Congratulations, Gary. Oh, does it get any better than this? Oh my gosh. Phase 12, December 17th. And wow. <laughs> Congratulations. Marcus, I can't thank you enough. Look man. at that buck, Gary. Are you kidding? That's unbelievable, man. With the muzzle loader. Boy, it was it was intense. <laughs> First ball ever with with the muzzle loader. Yeah, with the muzzle loader and look at that. Wow, look how pretty this is. He's been rubbing, but he's yeah, definitely look at all the bark on this side over here. Really neat. You know, we're bringing out the muzzleloader today because the rut is basically winding down. But talking to Mike, he said they're just coming out, bugling right at last light. I've never hunted elk with anything other than a bow, so it's nice to have the muzzleloader that you don't have to exactly get in as close as you need to with a bow. Did not even twitch. <laughs> Look at that. Just great bottoms, great thirds, big old four on them. Great bull. He's a big bull. Like I'm big so bull. excited. Big bull. <laughs> Got this huge bull, and I'm so excited. <laughs> what did you think when he came bugling through the trees? I was a little nervous. A little nervous because I've never seen anything that big, but <laughs> it was shot. awesome. Very good shot. Very good did shot. Good First shot counted. Yeah. I'm so excited about taking my second bull here in New Mexico. Me and my sister got to fill our tags on the same day, so that's pretty awesome. Um, we both had a great hunt. And I mean, we took it down to the wire. I mean, we were nearly out of light. He finally stepped out and gave us a 70 yard shot. December 3rd, it's uh, my first afternoon hunting back here in Oklahoma. I just really like this buck. And we got in here this afternoon, walked out and gave me a 70 yard shot. And what a buck. And I am absolutely tickled.
Traditions definitely did the trick. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. This bike bar has surpassed anything that I would have even imagined. Yes, look at that. And I've got him on the ground, baby. Yes. <laughs> Done. I love these traditions. I just love these. Oh, one thing I know I need to hurry up and do is reload because more will be coming. I got a pee. Yes. And that is a result of a nice five-year-old deer going down on the ground. With a traditions muzzle loader, this striker fires the boy. He's the man. And he got him down. And I love the accuracy, because that's probably a 150, 160 yard poke. Maybe farther. Didn't have time to range him. It's a long shot for free-handed muzzleloader hunting, isn't it? Oh, man, I am pumped. Right through the heart, 150 yards, my traditions muzzleloader. I'm so happy. Oh, thank you, Lord. You have blessed us. That's the first deer I've shot with my new Traditions Forte Striker. And I'm happy, 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 happy. Yes. He didn't skirt wide round the Traditions, did he? Oh. Man, he's a pretty deer. A Texas chocolate horn deer, isn't it? He couldn't avoid that Traditions muzzle over. That new striker fire is the real deal. The real deal.
Nobody's, nobody's been able to kill him. I just put one in him. Oh my gosh. Look at those. Look at those bases. God. Jesus, Tom. Oh my gosh. First Kansas whitetail. And our first whitetail of the year on Bucks Tech Mahdi. Man, it don't get much better than that. Traditions went to work on him. I almost, I, I, it happened so fast, you know. I didn't even remember. We got it sided in at three high at 100. He was quartered away a little bit, so I had it on this crease right here. I just put that thing right in the middle of his uh, shoulder joint. Glad I didn't give up any more height-wise. It would have actually been a lot better if he'd have been another 40, 50 yards back. Would have been perfect. But, man, that happened fast. Tradition put him down. He didn't go anywhere. Traditions went to work on him.